Uh, Madam Speaker and my colleagues, members and staff will take their seats. Madam Speaker and my colleagues, many of you have uh, heard me say on numerous occasions that I think the American people sent us here uh, to work uh, together to get things done on behalf of our country. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, uh, we've had an opportunity with the economic uh, growth package uh, to work in a bipartisan way uh, on behalf of the American people. And I really think uh, it showed uh, our chamber and our Congress at its best. But I don't think there's any priority that we have that's more important than protecting the American people. For more than six months, we've reached out to the majority on the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act because we want to give our intelligence officials all the tools they need to protect us. That bill that was passed in late July expired on February 1st. And several weeks ago, we provided an extension uh, that, uh, that runs out on Saturday. But for the last six months, as we've tried to come to an agreement on this bill, we've reached out to the majority, uh, trying to find common ground, uh, and we've been turned down at every turn. This week, the President, the Senate, and frankly, a majority of the members of this House I have said enough is enough, no more extensions. But instead of working with the Republicans uh, and Democrats who are interested in, in working on this bill uh, that would protect our country and protect the American people uh, by passing the bipartisan Senate Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Bill, the House today, the House floor is a scene of a partisan political stunt. Yesterday, the majority leader said that this political stunt would occur today because we have space on the House schedule. In other words, we have space on the calendar today uh, for a politically charged fishing expedition, but no space for a bill that would protect the American people from terrorists who want to kill us. Madam Speaker, I think this is the height of irresponsibility. It's an insult to this House, and it's an insult to the American people. The actions on the floor of this House today will not make America safer. It will not help us protect Americans from being attacked. Earlier today, the President announced that he would delay his trip to Africa, a long-planned trip. He would delay it so that he could work with us to sign the Long-Term Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act Modernization Law into law. House Republicans stand ready to stay here as long as it takes to get this bill passed and get it to the President's desk. And ladies and gentlemen, we will not stand here and watch this floor be abused for pure political grandstanding at the expense of our national security. We will, we will, we will not stand for this and we will not stay for this. And I would ask my, my House Republican colleagues and those who believe uh, that we should be here protecting uh, the, the American people not vote on this bill. Let's just get up and leave.
Ohio yields back his time. The gentlewoman from New York. How can you not vote?